Hello everyone, welcome back. And uh, this would be a very quick tutorial on how to fix your symmetry on your match. So on this character, I have on purpose willingly destroyed the symmetry on this character. And um, just to show you for the purpose of this tutorial how to fix the symmetry and keep the UV information. Fix symmetry. This is the original mesh. This is the fixed symmetry. To give it a different color, okay. So now we're going to select all the middle edges and click on X. So all the edges I selected uh, are transformed into one planar and they're just one straight line, not distorted. This is very important. Click X and click split. So the, the mesh has been split into two delete this half the destroyed half and apply a symmetry modifier here's symmetry modifier and flip so this has the fixed symmetry collapse the stack yes so now if i select all the vertices you can see the vertex count is 5357 vertices and on this mesh, the original mesh, if we select all the vertices, it also has the same number of vertices. This is very important uh, for us, for our process, for our technique to work. Uh, if there was one more vertex than this, then it would be, for instance, if I cut just one more ver uh, line here, the vertex number has been altered and our method will not work so just let's just undo that now we're going to use our script called morphix this morphix script is found online for free but it was for max 8 and max 9 <coughs> excuse me just search for morphix Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, I, I didn't. Sorry for the wrong spelling. Morphix script for 3ds Max. Here. Morphix. This is a lifesaver. Completely a lifesaver. Home page URL. Download URL. Just download it. And. From the comments, I found out that if that even though this script is originally made for 3D Max 8 and 9, you can actually use this uh, in three, uh, all versions of 3D Maxes. Fix symmetry, more fix, more fix installing newer Max versions. I just copy pasted a comment from here. All you have to do is copy copy the M MSE file to your max root C program files of the text in 2014 steady plugs std plugs std scripts copy and paste it copy and paste it here replace it I've already done that and then there there are only two files from the macro scripts copy this and put it in the macro scripts folder here just paste it here replace it and you're basically done you can if you want to you can just copy all the icons from here and put them in icons folder icons folder but it's not necessary later 
you come to 3d max customize user interface quads and then under category all comments you can just find mvh tools mvh tools more fix drag and drop it here like i did or you can make a toolbar in which case you can show the icon icon image it doesn't uh, i i prefer uh, to add it in in my right click menu quad menu so here is more fixed window it's really simple to use and i'm using it in 3d max 2014 you can use it in any version of 3d max after 9 so click original mesh and pick your mesh click pick slave mesh slave object and pick your fixed symmetry mesh you can name them any way you want the names doesn't matter and then you have to click on add add a hint I'm going to press F4 in my keyboard to show the edges and then click add now I'm going to select any uh, face any polygon on the original mesh and then it says pick corresponding slave face edge or vertex so I'm going to have to select the same face edge or vertex on this fixed symmetry mesh so I'm going to click on the same polygon here and the hint added to list and the process can now complete it's ready to use just click on process and it gives you another mesh and now you can close it when you select your original mesh and apply a morpher if we added the mesh we applied symmetry modifier to and tried to morph it even though they both have the same vertex count it wouldn't work because the vertex order was destroyed so now if I add the other mesh it works and our mesh has been fixed and the problem the other problem with this one was that if we applied an unwrap UV modifier open UV editor we can see only half of the UV is present we can select island by island flip them and select age by age like this and stitch them together and fix try to fix all of this mess but that's just too much work and if I apply a new V unwrap modifier to this one you can see it has the correct UVW as well so nothing has been destroyed the original mesh has the exact UVW information so this is how Morphix saves your lives thank you for watching and download Morphix and just love the developer this this guy Mar Margin Van Herk just love him send him love send him your love and he just he just deserves it okay goodbye thank you